Hey there, it's Lucas Cadden, and welcome to the first video of this new channel that I started, the, the Scientology and Narconon Chronicles. And I started this really because I realized that even though I've written about things in, in books and, you know, blogs and interviews, and there's so much information out there about various things regarding Narconon and Scientology, but there's, there's a lot of stories from behind the scenes stuff that people, people really either, either never read about, or maybe there were some details that, that weren't um, you know, weren't conveyed completely or whatever, uh, back then. And so uh, I've already made a list of, of a few dozen stories that I want to share with you, um, for anybody who's interested in, in hearing some of these things. Some of them are humorous. Some of them are just simple facts that, that are maybe interesting. And some of them could even be, uh, quite a bit tragic, but nonetheless, here are some of those behind the scenes stories, uh, and welcome to the the Scientology and Narconon Chronicles channel. The first one, I'm going to start with Scientologist number one, Tom Cruise. He, I actually have quite a few, or, or several at least, regarding him, but one of them is, uh, is pretty funny. So back in 2018, uh, it was revealed by Tom Cruise's former agent, Michael Ovitz, that he brought a Scientology tent to the set of War of the Worlds with Steven Spielberg, back in 2005 and he uh this was this was right around the time that he was becoming really dedicated he was becoming he he was stepping into his new role of number one scientologist in the world and shortly after that is when he you know uh berated matt lauer on the today show and then a little bit after that was the couch jumping and oprah and yada 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 so 2005 he's on the set of war of the worlds with Steven Spielberg, and he brings and he gets a Scientology tent set up to deliver assists to people. And assists in Scientology are um, things that they try and do, light things that they try and do to help relieve, you know, some minor discomforts. Sometimes it's through um, hands or, or touching or you know placing hands on different parts of your body. Sometimes it is described as there are parts of them that are like a light massage. Sometimes it's just pointing out or noticing things. There's, so there's all different types of assists, and that's one of the things that, that they provided there for workers on the set. But what was not revealed um, was that they brought out, Cruz also brought out and wanted to show off Scientology, other Scientology wares, you know, other pieces of it. Pieces of it. So he brought out a couple Narconon people. He wanted to introduce Narconon to Steven Spielberg. And there were two Narconon employees who were sent out there and uh one of them I, I think a guy was already in new york they were shooting in in another part of the state and the other one was gary smith gary smith was the executive director of narconon arrowhead and a very long time scientologist you can look him up and and see some of the things that that he's been involved with but cruz and smith developed you know sort of a relationship because gary smith was like you know he was the head of the the flagship facility of narconon so the, the intent was to that anytime there was a celebrity or someone related to a celebrity or, or somehow, you know, in the arts or in high position or whatever, if they had friends or family members as well who might needed to go get help or if they come across other, you know, actors or artists or whatever that, that need help, then they want them to go to, they wanted them to go to Narcan on Arrowhead. And Gary Smith was the guy. So Tom Cruise had to get the guy out here to talk to Steven Spielberg in case Spielberg ever had anybody that needed help. So he brought them out and gets these guys in there and they're, and he says, okay, good. Now go ahead. And Gary Smith talks about Narconon, tells him about Arrowhead. Everything's all done. Gets back on a plane and comes back home to Oklahoma. <laughs> and, and apparently Tom Cruise didn't think Gary Smith was, was uh, assertive enough. He wasn't tone 40 like Cruise was. And tone 40 is is the the idea of it is that you are so certain and so direct and that you know that you're going to get this product and you're going to get this job done correctly and uh, apparently gary smith wasn't tone 40 enough for tom cruise and he issued something called a cram <laughs> and a cram is like a scientology citation for you to study more scientology because you haven't been scientologist enough and so uh in tom cruise's effort to make gary smith more like him he issued this cram, the citation to him, to make him go study 
these other Scientology references from L. Ron Hubbard, and then do these, um, and then ex like do these exercises and practice them, and then have to write compliance that would get back to Cruz's people to show that Gary Smith actually studied these and, and what he got out of it. <laughs> and so, so uh, aside from the revelation of the tent being on set, there was this little tidbit of bringing out Narcanon people and then uh, writing a cram on Gary Smith because he wasn't Scientology enough. And uh, there you go. So there's, there's one good cruise story regarding Narcanon. And uh, there's, a, there's a few more that I'll share. Again, I mentioned I've written about some of these before in the books, uh, Have You Told All and, and uh, Reconnection in terms of my personal history and involvement in, in various Scientology things. But Gary Smith himself had come back and, and told me about that and told me about the cram and all that stuff. So not all of them are about my personal involvement, but they are either uh, stories that I, I know about because of people who were present. And some of them are uh, reports that I read and things like that. So um, they're not they're not made up. They're they're true. So there you go. There's the first one. Look forward. Like I said, I've got a, a few dozen different stories that I'm going to be sharing. And I'm just going to go as I have time. I might do several in a row. Uh, I might do, um, you know, might, might be a while in between some. We'll see. But I, I wanted to move it off on its own channel and, and really let that be a thing where people can go and say, hey, there's some, there's some interesting stories here regarding Narconon that, that may not have already been known and regarding Scientology that may not have already been known. And that's it. Take care. Till next time.